What's up, y'all? This is Ann Glizzy and this is Bob Sun TV. And today we got adulthood versus childhood. So let's go back. All right. It's like a long time ago on that. Oh, I just got like sleepy thinking about how old I am. Back in my childhood, my childhood was different. When I was growing up, sunfly seeds, a little pack of seeds for 10 cents. Fruities from the ice cream truck was a penny. Them fruities a quarter now. One was a penny. They went from a penny to a quarter. 50 cent chips, now they 99 cent. 99 cent sodas, 115. My childhood was cool. Back in the day, when I was a kid, my mother used to give me $100. I was rich until that 100 was gone. Like, you ever got $100 from your parents? You just rich once you get that 100. Your first $100 bill is like, oh my God, it's just a general rush for the money. Now, the $100, that's like two miles on pump seven. Hundred dollars can't get you. Hundred dollars make you angry around here. Uber, oh my God, you Uber easy to do something back to that hundred. That hundred ain't got no power in this world right now. Hundred dollars, like as soon as you break a hundred, when you grown, it's gone. That's even with a thousand. Like a thousand dollars, that jump go down to nine hundred. You make two, three hundred dollar moves, that jump down to the fours. You're like, huh. But let me get into it. Back in the day, when you living in your parents' house, you should be rich. Your goal of living in your parents' house is to stack the money all the way until you're gone. Once you get out, that's when you start spending money and living your life. But you have so much money, it ain't even matter you spend it. You can't spend the money while you ain't got no bills. If you ain't got no bills, if I can go back to no bills, man, that was the phrase. Like, I always had a bit meaning, but I can't go back. I don't want to go back. It's all right. I like it the way it is. But when I had no bills, I could do anything. Life was just funner. Everything that I cried about as a kid, when I got older, I appreciated it all. Like just going to football practice, going even going to school. If I go to high school and just see the people from high school together, like you don't even know how fun school is until you get older. But like when you older, everything is so serious. Like everything just gets so serious. Like ain't nothing to gain, ain't nothing. Once you older and you pay bills, like I'm from Southeast, I'm from the ghetto. So like the way I was trained is the way that I react. I'm trying to untrain myself to train myself to be a civilian, a regular person in life, because I've been a civilian for three years. I've been a regular person in the industry. I don't live like that anymore. I'm not living that type of lifestyle. I don't got to think like that, breathe like that, or even be in them type of atmospheres. But as I was coming up, I got to shake my habits, because I still got habits of the hood, like hood habits. And my grown, I still bring some of my old life habits to my new life and they affect me, not in a bad way, because all the bad, the nonsense, I left that alone, just like, stuff like this. Say if you're rent during the first, I, f I realize if rent during the first, they don't charge you a late fee to the 10th. So basically you got nine extra days to pay the rent. In my brain, nine extra days, the life I live, I can make the rent in nine days. I feel like, man, I can make the rent in nine days and keep the rent, man. It'd be like, hold on, let me try. Do y'all know? In that nine days, I can pay the rent on the first every time. I'm not doing it, though. If I get to the 10th, I'm taking it to the 10th. That's just me. I'm just saying. I was trained like that. I don't know. I can't shake the habit. Every time I get them nine days and I be thinking about them, I'm going to make the rent in nine days. I spend more money. I swear. Like, I've been in the negative. I probably another 3000 in the hole. And I'm looking like, dang, I just spent all that money with them nine days. I could have just paid the rent with that money and just been like... It never work out that way, but I still do it. Something about them free nine days, man. I'm telling you, a month when you're a child, a month is a year. It's forever. A month is so long. A month in school, when you're in school, a month, that month go forever. When you're a grown person, I swear, you be like, I just paid that bill. Like, that bill come back in a week. It feel like nine days. I swear, a month for like nine days when you pay bills. You're like, and why you don't be outside? Because I pay bills. I'm getting all my money worth. I pay $3,000 a month. I'm going to get all my money worth. I'm not about to hang outside. Outside, don't, man, come on, bro. Imagine paying all this rent and you outside. Outside doing what? I'm gonna get my money worth. I'll be right in here. I'm gonna try to get extra. But I'm just saying like, a thousand dollars used to mean a lot. Now in this world, when you get grown, a thousand dollars don't mean nothing. Once you break it, it's gone. But I got little habits like T-Mobile, the phone bill, they give you an extra two weeks before they cut you off. I need my extra two weeks and I pay the reactivation fee. I don't know why I pay the re- Ma, you too loud! I pay, I pay the reactor, I pay the reactivation fee, but I don't know why I pay the re, uh, the reactivation fee because it takes so long to cut the phone by going. But it's like I don't pay my phone bill until the phone cut off, y'all. Like I don't know why I'm like that. Like 
I got to start doing that. I just started doing that. Like last month, I paid the day before I was supposed to cut off because I remember. But I don't be remember. I got the little prepaid joint. Like, I'm going to tell y'all something. T-Mobile, y'all paying anything over $50, you're getting work. You go get a prepaid SIM card, they put it in your phone, fit, it works. Just like your T-Mobile phone, this is everything hooked up, everything. You don't got to pay $49 a month. Chico, if you're paying more than $49 a month for a phone bill, go to T-Mobile, get you a prepaid chip, and hook up to your real name, and go on about your business. That's free game. Everybody, make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to wait until 100,000 subscribers. I told you I'm giving out dirt bikes. First video hit 100,000. I just need 100,000 on the video. Let's go. But, yeah, it's like when it comes to all that type of stuff, I just be lazy. I don't be. Phew. I just want y'all to know once you got bills, ain't nothing fun. Go on a vacation, come home, gotta pay your bills. Before you go on a vacation, you gotta pay your bills. You gotta pick something up before you go on a vacation to pay your bills. It's like you cannot duck these bills. It's like bills, bills, bills. So you gotta make money, 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 money. When you get older, it ain't nothing but bills. Like once you get your first bill, a lot of them more to come. But don't let the stress get to you or the bills break you down. Just find you something in your life that you could do that gets you past the bills. But that's just the way the game go, man. Life of a kid when I was growing up was different. Life of an adult. When y'all growing up, it's a whole new life. So y'all just do y'all thing. I tell y'all, if you ain't got no bills, enjoy your life right now. Don't not have no bills. I right, say when you ain't got no bills, y'all know what y'all do. Go meet kids, and then y'all had kids, and y'all people house, or your kids live with their mother. You ain't got no spot, and you had kids. Now you trying to take care of your kids and get a spot. It's like, bro, you pay yourself in a hole. I don't have kids. I got to go get everything first. Then have the kids so they can have everything, if that makes sense. I'm trying to make it all make sense to y'all. But what I'm here to tell y'all is for any younger in America, the streets is over. I'm telling you, like, they all the way over, like, all the way done. Go get you a job. You're going to feel better. I'm telling you. Bob.